Hey Alan, uh, Tom Woodward. I'm here from Richmond, Virginia. I work at Virginia Commonwealth University, but I've also worked for a long time uh, in K-12. So, uh, what role does Creative Commons play in the things I do? Well, I produce a lot of Creative Commons work, um, photos, videos, whatever. I also do some um, coding and whatnot that I put on, under open source licenses. Um, I also use a lot of that content in presentations and media development and stuff like that. So uh, I, I value Creative Commons and think it's a neat idea. I also encourage faculty and students to use it. So what would it mean to me to have a Creative Commons certification? Um, I guess that would depend on what it certifies I can do and uh, what value other people put on it, because I think that's, that's the key with certifications, right, is it has to matter to somebody else. I know what I can do, I know what I know. The certification from Creative Commons has to be kind of a currency for, for other people. So what does it mean that I can do and why would other people care about it? Um, so I think that, that is an interesting question and uh, plays into some things around like if you're gonna do stuff like we're doing, having lots of students putting lots of content up in the open web, what do they need to know? And would having a Creative Commons certification help with kind of uh, legal validity, you know, kind of trusting me as somebody to advise students, you know, uh, providing particular uh, views versus traditional copyright, that sort of thing. So it's a little bit messy there, but possibly a value. Um, uh, the, the thing that I think starts to get interesting is, is what it might look like to earn a certification. And uh, I think there, there, there's a chunk of knowledge stuff uh, that goes into this that you'd expect. But I think what, what would become more interesting uh, to me is, is to what role you become a participant in the creation of content under, uh, under Creative Commons licensing. Um, and then how does this kind of continue to exist so you know it's almost like you earn re uh re uh what do you call it like uh professional growth credits by continuing to participate in the creative commons ecosystem uh both as a user and a producer and maybe those things count for different amounts of points uh, as well as doing things like advocating or training people or helping develop stuff that furthers uh the, the spread of creative commons so really thinking of an ecosystem of, of knowledge and participation, and if you want to go the badging route, right, um, then these things would be worth different points. Like I think, you know, if you use Creative Commons stuff, that's worth something, and knowing it and using it appropriately. If you create something uh, and release it under Creative Commons, that's certainly worth a little bit more. Um, and then maybe when you're educating others about Creative Commons and spreading the word that way, um, that's worth something else still. And best yet, maybe you're creating Creative Commons licensed work about educating people about Creative Commons. Um, so there's, there's a lot of interesting things that you might do. And then how do you show that? Maybe there's different focus areas in terms of what what certifications you can get. You're a Creative Commons, you know, knowledgeable about the license, fine. You're a user, okay. Um, maybe that has different strands. You're a producer, wow. Uh, and then you're a Creative Commons educator, uh, you know, kind of moving on towards that next level. So stuff like that I think is worth thinking about. It's a worthy call, certainly, and I uh, wish you good luck.